Hi, this is Andy, just following on from part one of the Dub Chords Techno tutorial. This is part two and we're going to show you how to modulate the sound. So let's go to the plugin section and type in Filter Freak. Let's open it up. So for this type of modulation, we're just going to allow it to kind of do its thing over time. And we're just going to use a band reject filter, which is similar to a notch filter. So we've got our frequency control. That's going to change the frequency that we're cutting out of the sound. We're just going to send a little bit of the signal to the mod section. At the moment, the mod section is set to envelope, so it's going to follow the waveform and basically open and close or change the frequency of the filter dependent on the volume coming in. I've just changed this to an LFO there because we want it to kind of just carry on filtering and moving over time. I want to do this at a really slow rate uh, so it's not synced and it's quite natural really. So I'm just setting the mod and the frequency there just to make sure that I've got it set how I want it, not moving around the frequencies too much, um, just till it sounds good. Now the second type of filtering, I'm going to be automating myself. So let's add a filter freak. Let's put it before the reverb, so then the reverb has chance to tail off. And I'm going to start the track off. I'm going to do some live automation. So I want to start the frequency quite low, just so then we're not revealing all the sound too soon. So I'm just going to hit record and start changing the parameters in Filter Freak. Just adding a little bit of the mod in there. It's quite a nice touch. Just follows the sound a little bit more. Adjusting the frequencies, slightly opening the filter as we're moving on. bit of resonance as well. And as we're coming up towards the section where it's kind of most intense, I'm just going to keep opening up that filter. As it kind of drops in, we're going to open it up all the way. Now you can use this to intensify certain parts of the track, whether things are being brought up or coming down, you can add that emphasis using filtering. And just there I'm dialing the mix back a little bit as the track moves on. Just then it's going back to the original sound. A lot of the time where I can, I try to automate things live. I feel like it's got a much more organic sound, it sounds more natural, and it's more interesting generally than drawing a lot of straight lines. 